how's it going y'all? This is Chaz from Classy Komodo, and this series is Addressing the Issue, where I'm going to be talking about con po common problems that the console players are having with Battlefield 4. So, let's get straight into it. First things first, I'm having a really hard time dealing with the screen blurs that are going on. If you don't know what this is, this is when, randomly during the game, your screen suddenly blurs and it's like a grenade went off near you or something like that. And it's not only frustrating because, um, I mean, it distorts your vision, but after a while, it gets to the point where you're getting a headache because of it. After extensive amounts of play, because I play on average about four hours at a time and in order to get all the footage, and it's getting to the point where I have to stop only because of these screen blurs. Now, I don't know what's causing them. I don't know if it's because of the motion blur that they have now. Well, you know, they have in the... Uh, next-gen consoles the fact that the screen blur is causing this I don't know if what's the cause of the problem but it's actually a pretty big deal especially when trying to stay on one single target at a long range and your screen starts to blur you know it happens a lot I find on Parasol Storm when the storm runs in I don't know if it's just because it's a graphical issue or what but it's a pretty big problem and even though it may seem small also talking about Parasol Storm the drops in frame rate have been uh, kind of a problem. I've, I'm finding that in that map as well, the frame rate drops have been pretty significant. And at first I thought it was just lag, that the servers were lagging a little bit, and that's why my character was kind of stopping and jolting through, but it's the fact that too, much, too many things are going on on the screen, and it's causing some frame rate issues. Now, it's not so much of a problem now, but because of the fact that I'm becoming more accustomed to these 60 frames a second, it is getting to be a problem. The fact that I'm trying to learn how to, my character moves, how well I'm turning, you know, and the fact that the screen starts to jolt can really affect my close quarter combat and as well as uh, far range because of the fact that I, I can't maintain uh, on my target because the fact that it, it's jolting all over the place. So the drops in the frame rate, I, I think they need to address this as well in an upcoming patch, which reminds me, PlayStation 4, awesome. They patched it. A lot of things are better. Really, really good. I'm currently playing on Xbox. So unfortunately, which seems weird, the, unfortunately, we haven't gotten these patches yet. We haven't gotten a lot of the fixes that the PlayStation 4 has. And PlayStation 4 has been running a lot smoother lately, which is awesome. I'm, I'm glad for it. And I can't wait to get my hands on the PlayStation 4 so I can see uh, the improvements on uh, how well the game is playing. But as for now, I'm playing on Xbox and that's Xbox community is getting a little bit frustrated with some of these problems that we're having. Next is the hit marker problems. When you get shot, you have a hit marker usually indicating the direction on where you're getting shot from. Unfortunately, this has been kind of messed up because of the fact that when you get shot, sometimes your hit marker location on the bottom of your screen shows that you're getting hit from the flank when the guy in front of you shot you. It's like the bullet curved around you and you start looking behind you because you think, oh, there's two people shooting at me because I have a hit marker on my back. Well, it's really just a bad hit marker from the enemy in front of you. That really needs to be addressed mainly because of the fact that it causes a really big problem when addressing multiple enemies that are around you. So if I'm engaging in an enemy in front of me and I get a hit marker, like I said, from the flank and I turn around, it it disorients everything that I'm doing because of the fact that I have to completely turn around to make sure that there's nobody behind me because I'm getting hit markers from the flank. And that can be a pretty big problem when it comes to competitive gaming. Next, the party chat. So everybody knows this is all about being in the party, being with a group of people that you know, or all in all, being a good teammate. Well, unfortunately right now, the party system is a little bit wonky. The fact that when you're with a party the if you're trying to use the connect as a microphone which a lot of people are because they like to use their old headsets with the and also talk at the same time they aren't able to because of the fact that the party the party chat system won't allow for party chat with the connect over battlefield 4 and sometimes won't even allow with the headset the regular headset now this is only an xbox problem playstation i'm pretty sure that y'all handling fairly well with the new again with the new patch y'all are handling fairly well with the new update that everything's running a little bit smoother but again for xbox users eh, 
it's kind of a little bit troublesome, especially when you're playing, playing a game where it's mo mostly about the teamwork and you can't get in that. Well, that actually gets into my next point. It's the fact that you can't get into games with friends right now. There's no point. There's no actual way of getting in with your friends unless you join into a game and then they join in the game with you. Well, unfortunately, right now, there's a problem with the fact that you can't get into the server browser when you tr when you join into the server browser to see, oh, I want to find a game that doesn't have 63 people when <laughs> you want to get more than one person with you. So you join in, you know, you're the last spot. So you look in the server browser and the server browser one, many of many of the server browsers are broken to the fact that you can't when you join in uh, when you're searching for a specific game type, no servers show up. Or, when you look for your servers and they do pop up, you click one, and nothing, you don't get in. You just sit on that loading screen, and you sit and wait, and that's it. And nowadays, right as of right now, one of the only ways to get into a game is to hit quick match. But there's a problem with that. When you hit quick match, you click, let's say, you want to play some conquest. Large team conquest. You click quick match, and you click conquest. Well... Unfortunately, the game automatically just puts you into the first game that's available that has a spot, which is Team Deathmatch most of the time, which is unfortunate because now you're stuck into a game mode that's already that you didn't want, and two, the fact that now you're stuck without your friends and the game mode is full. So it's getting pretty troublesome for the fact that I could kind of waive a lot of these problems if I was able to play with my friends. But I can't because the party system, the entire experience is kind of lacking when it comes to that, that market. Now, again, PlayStation, you've been having a little bit of a better time with this because of the fact that you did get that pat uh, a couple of patches. Again, I'm going to reiterate that. The fact that that's a little bit confusing. Microsoft typically gets things first. Now, I'm not an Xbox fanboy. I like both. But Microsoft has been getting usually the products first especially when it comes to battlefield 4 for instance we're getting uh, for xbox they're getting the expansion packs early two weeks early and that's why a lot of people like it because you get your expansion packs early you get a lot of things early when it comes to battlefield because of their deal with microsoft so you'd think that they get their patches early right no not necessarily mainly because of the fact that all uh, the ea market has to go directly through microsoft in order to get their patches through even though now everybody is on the cloud, I do believe patches are going to come slower to Microsoft than it is to the Sony market. Unfortunate, and that's just my opinion as of right now, will it stand? Hopefully not. Hopefully the cloud-based system allows for everybody to get the patches for video games of the same client, for instance Battlefield, all at the same time. But we'll see. It's, as of right now, it's, it's not too promising. Lastly, I kind of want to just reiterate again, revisiting the netcode issue. You see me a bunch of times on here, well not a bunch of times, but a couple of times, getting killed or trading off with another person. That's because the netcode is off and weird right now. Hits are not registering like they should, and everything is a little bit frustrating because the netcode isn't up to par, or what it can be. Hopefully that will change in the near future. I'm addressing the issues now. Thank you for watching. This has been Addressing the Issue. Thank y'all, and as always, stay classy.